Tonight, the family of Trooper Smith is sharing the pictures and stories, bringing them comfort through their heartbreak. WRTV's Rafael Sanchez reports on the man who lived, loved, and left quite a legacy. Cheering on Notre Dame or hanging out with his band of brothers among the places that Aaron Smith was at peace. His oldest brother, Jeremy, describes him as selfless, down to earth, a devout Christian. If disagreements would arise, Aaron's favorite phrase, you gotta let go and let God. Aaron began to soar at a young age. At 16, he completed his first solo flight on June the 3rd, 2006. His grandpa, better known as Poppy, helped him get his pilot's license while at Whiteland High School. It would lead him to Indiana State University, where he graduated with a degree in aviation management. Aaron enlisted in the Indiana National Guard to serve his state and country and to help pay for his education. And to honor the memory of his best friend in high school, Jim Waters, who died in Afghanistan in 2011. He met his wife, Megan, the love of his life, at ISU. Aaron was big on family. The birth of his niece marked a milestone. His dad, Gary Smith, finds comfort in his early years, which included weekends full of football and the TV show Cops. Gary shared that Aaron was a very independent, fun-loving man. I am proud of him. He loved helping people and always wanted to do the right thing. Aaron would become an Indiana State Police Trooper, following a law enforcement tradition. His father worked with Indianapolis Police and retired from the Trafalgar Police Department. But this project from Aaron's days in kindergarten would ring true. In this school assignment, he said, I want to be a police officer when I grow up because my dad used to be a police officer in Trafalgar. His brothers took different career paths, but every time they'd get together, They'd share common bonds. Their hellos and their goodbyes would include a kiss, a hug, and the words, I love you. Very powerful, Raphael, thank you. And Raphael tells us the family also wants to thank the entire community for its support. Again, that outpouring of support continues to take place right now at the visitation for Trooper Smith. It goes until eight o'clock at Emanuel Church in Greenwood. The funeral is there tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. We will have live coverage of the service here on WRTV and at WRTV.com and on our Facebook page. After the funeral, there will be a procession to Crown Hill Cemetery and Trooper Smith Smith's final resting place. The public is encouraged to line the route to show support for Trooper Smith's family and law enforcement. The procession will follow US 31 and go by Whiteland High School, where it will pass under the garrison flag. That is also where the final call will take place. It will then pass by the neighborhood where Trooper Smith grew up off Smith Valley Road. From there, the procession will take city streets through downtown Indy, traveling north on Illinois Street to 34th Street, where it will enter Crown Hill Cemetery.